Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. We're talking about frequency dividers today. We already mentioned this word frequency divider because we said, okay, a counter is some sort of frequency divider. Okay. What ratios, what frequency ratios we could reach? Yeah. We noticed immediately half. Yeah. A ratio of one to two is no issue. So, if we want to have a ratio of, of 1 to 2, we just need uh, flip-flops, flip-flop chains, even 2 raised by the power of something, then I need n flip-flops, right? If we want to have it 1 to 10, uh, we could use a PCT counter. The last digit is 1 to 10. If we are using 1 to 16, yeah, then we could use a hex counter. That's it. Yeah. However, with those numbers, I cannot, you know, three is important. Yeah? Three is important. Why is three important? Let's imagine we want to have a clock. Okay. Let's imagine we want to have a clock. Then one minute, 60 seconds. Yeah? And if I have the tact of the seconds, I need a 60th part. All right. So I could use one divided by 60. This is not bad. Yeah. So this is 1 divided by 6, 10. 10 I know, 3, a 6, I could even use 1 divided by 2 by 3 by 10. Okay, this would also be 60. And, well, 2 I know, 10 I know, 3 I don't know, 6 I don't know. So I cannot realize this. Huh? Cannot realize simply. Huh? From minutes to hours, all right, yeah, it's the same. And from hours, one day, it's 24 hours. Yeah, how we would reach that? Yeah, one divided by 24 equals one divided by two times 12. Yeah, equals one divided by two times two times six. Yeah? Again, six. Or two times two times two times three. Yeah. So, 3 and 6 are very important count, uh, frequency dividers. Yeah? This is why I want to show you two possibilities of, of reaching this. Right? One possibility is, uh, is an asynchronous approach. Put it on the left side. So, we're using, again, our chains of flip-flops. Then we again have our zack zack the team put, zack zack team put, zack zack team put. So that's it. We have the static static S and R inputs, and we have a Q and not Q, Q and not Q, static S and R, static S and R, Q and not Q, and there is always the default position. All right. And here we have at this time our draw it with falling edge triggered because it's easier to draw. Huh? It's easier to draw. That's, that's the reason. Huh? And then we're using exactly as we have done with the counter. Huh? Like that. Then we have here QC, I call it. Yeah. Here we have QB, and here we have QA. Here we have the C input. Yeah. 
And actually, what I'm going to do is I add an end here. Lodge again. Whenever time QA and QB are one, I'm going to reset. those two. So this is the addition. Yeah. And now let's see what is happening. Okay. So let's say we have here QA. Let's say we have here QB. And let's say we have here QC. Yeah. We all start at zero. We all start at zero. 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 First falling edge. This, this is not one, yeah? So this one will toggle. First one will toggle. QA is toggling. Going up. Yeah? I have a rising edge here does not do anything. Yeah. But actually, this is how this would look like. Rising edge. Shortly afterwards. Okay. Next toggle. This toggle is again a little bit later. Yeah. This I have not used. It's the, just the, the time the, the element needs. Here, this will also toggle because this time I have here now a falling edge. So we are toggling here. Right. We're going up here. We have no falling edge here. Nothing. All right. What's the next thing? Here, we, we have nothing. Here, we stay up. Here, we stay up. Next thing which is happening. Yeah, toggle. Yeah, because next falling edge, toggle. Whoop, toggle. And now, what do we see? We have both, both sets to, to one. So this and this, in this, <coughs> the, 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 the end, end is fulfilled here. End is fulfilled. Okay. And suddenly both are getting a reset. Yeah. So here after the, we will reset this. Yeah. Here we will be just a little bit up, zack, and the end is resetting, is resetting those two. We are resetting. We have here falling edge. Yeah. And suddenly, zack, at exactly this position at this time where we are dropping yeah, this will trigger this to change yeah. all right here actually for QA and QB we are back at the beginning but this time QC is high yeah. so actually with the next falling edge it would look exactly like here yeah. Zack, I just draw it exactly like here. And also this one will simply change here. Here, both are one, just a short impulse. And here, this will toggle again. And now actually we are exactly like in the beginning. Okay, this is exactly how it looked in the beginning. Uh, so we have pretty much the same behavior over and over again. Just draw it, finalize it.
And now let's see how many how many pulses we had here. Yeah? Let's say let's let's start here. Uh, let's let's start here where we changed this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we are at the beginning again. Six pulses, and here we had one. Yeah? This is a asynchronous. Frequency divider. In the ratio 1 to 6. Hey, this is what we needed here. Alright? This is what we needed here. So this is one possibility. And also, here is no issue if it's asynchronous or not. Yeah, because it would just be shifted. Okay. Now let's have a look. I Let's have a look, there are also synchronous ones. Yeah? So, let's draw it yeah, on this side. This time I will have two JK flip-flops. And I said a synchronous variant. So I will bring them here. And I will also use falling edge, then this fits better. Alright, and we have here just looking almost like this master slave flip flop. Okay, so here we have one. Here we have one output, this is QA, this is QB, this is again C, yeah? and actually what I do is that I connect J and K to not Q here. And let's analyze, let's analyze this, this one. Yeah? So we have here QA. We have here QB. In the beginning, everything is zero. Let's see. Everything is zero. What does it mean? What does it mean? Now, if this is zero, not Q here is, is one. So with the first falling edge, this one will toggle. Yeah, so QA will toggle up. Zack. Yeah. What does this mean? Here, nothing, because this would just take what was there before. It was zero, zero. So it will stay at zero. Yeah. It will stay at zero here. Next falling edge. This one will take what's on the input, because the J input is now set and the Q input is not set. Yeah. So, this will change up. At this point in time, this was still down, we will change down here, because uh, this was still 1. Right? Right. Uh, so, this was still 1, so this is talking, and this will take at the same moment in time the previous the, the position, because this has some time it takes to toggle, it will take the, the position high. Next falling edge. What is happening here? This time this is high, so this is zero. This J and K is zero. I do nothing. Here, this does nothing. This will stay low. Whoop. Yeah. What will be done here? Yeah. This will take the situation of the A yeah, with the next, because now this is low, this is one and this is high. So this is this is one, this is low, and so this is low and this is one, so it will just take it and back we will draw. Yeah? And now at the next one, we're exactly at this point. Exactly at this point. Yeah? So let's just repeat this. Okay. 
Aha. This is how this looks like. Okay, let's count again. Let's start here. We have here one, two, three. Then we are exactly the same position. And here we have one pulse in the meantime. And also here, red one is also one pulse. So this is a synchronous frequency divider in the ratio one to six. This is synchronous. Frequency divider one to three. Have I said three or have I said six? I don't remember anymore. Yeah, three of course. Yeah. Now you see you can realize with such flip flops frequency dividers you need. Hmm? We have exactly the correct. And now, now we could even build a clock. Just need a proper stable frequency and we can make a clock and divide whatever we need. Frequency divider. One other application of, of, of flip-flops. Good. Some videos ago we talked about analog timers. Next video we will talk about digital timers. Monostable things, they are called. Monoflops. Ah, we'll see how this is working. Next video, uh, digital timers for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.